Hey Redbugs, it's Jay. Today I'm back. Yes, I know I've not been uploading lately. Um, I've been sick, like real sick. That kind of, you know, praying to God at the toilet bowl sick. That's how bad I've been the last few days. About five days now, but I'm just slowly getting better. So I'm apologising for any Let's Plays and stuff with Grounded I've not been doing. I've been trying to get them out like every day or every other day. But yeah, it hit me pretty tough. I missed out on a ton of Power World content and just a bunch of other plans that I originally had with Grounded. <sighs> Don't worry though. That's all coming back. But grounded today. Why are we here? Why have I got the camera on? That means we're talking serious stuff. Well, it's something small, but it does look like, yes, there will be a balance patch coming. Now, that might not seem like much of a surprise to people, but until what I've just discovered, I don't think anyone really knew 100% if we was going to get any new changes to Grounded currently as it is at the moment. So why is this still a big topic? New Game Plus went and launched a good while ago now, and we kind of had a few patches that have fixed crucial stuff, but we were, I would say we, but what I see from the comments and I see from a lot of people were a bit kind of grumpy. There wasn't enough balance changes. That New Game Plus is still kind of just a bit too overtuned and just unfairly difficult. Not challenging, just simply not working as intended or just being taken to the extreme. But maybe not just New Game Plus. PlayStation and Switch players, you guys have obviously been playing it for a while now. What do you think Grounded is like now you've been having it for a good time? Now you've got past that honeymoon period of it being a new game. What does it feel like to you in terms of balance? And we're going to be talking about that. Remember, Grounded's not getting any new content updates anymore. It's not going to get any new big features, new creatures, new biomes. They're done. They're going to be working on Grounded 2. They're going to be moving on. And that's what they're probably working on now and the most of the team. I know PlayStation fans, it's always a bit odd. They came out on PlayStation and was like, yeah, that's the last update we're doing. But do remember, it's been on Xbox for nearly four years. In fact, this July is four years at the end of the month. And uh, yeah, it's just that's the way it is. They're moving on. It's never meant to be a live service game. They crammed as much as they could. It's at breaking point of how much they can add to it to support OG systems like the Xbox One, the PS4 and the Switch. And simply put, that's what they're going with. So... We've covered all that stuff in the past, but let's get down to it. So there hasn't been much news about a potential balance patch, but I caught this just literally as I was about to start puking my guts up. 1.4.4 patch is 100% a thing. The contents of this patch we can't go over yet, but it's in the works. Now that's that tiny bit of info, but that is literally all we've had to say, yes, there is going to be a proper balance patch incoming. For sure, it shouldn't be taken for granted that, yeah, of course it was going to happen because... Again, we've had a few patches now where we expected maybe more to be done and they weren't because of the process they've got to go through for a certification. It's no longer just whacking it out on Steam and Xbox at the same time, which they've been able to do on their own. They've now got to go through a separate company, Double Eleven, who then do the port jobs for Switch and PlayStation as well. And then it's all got to come back and make sure that everything's okay before it goes live. So that's why there is an extended delay. I do understand that. I'm not ragging out the devs or moaning at them because of that. I do understand because it launched on other consoles, it does take longer now. Generally speaking, it can take up to four weeks longer, maybe even five or six, depending on what sort of issues or problems they've got going on before maybe consoles will get their updates or PC gets their updates. And Grounded are committed to releasing the updates at the same time for everyone. There's no more PTBs like they used to do where they test things on PC and Xbox. They now just whack it out and hopefully it's all good. And if there's any problems, they'll try and hotfix it. But even the hotfixes are kind of lukewarm now. They're not always that hot. And we had issues where after the last patch with New Game Plus, there were substantial issues with people losing data and stuff like that. Hopefully now that will be quicker in the future as they get used to it. But yeah, they're not going to be investing that much in going, right, we need this update done tomorrow. It's going to be a case of just being a bit slower than it used to be. And, you know, I'm answering my own question. I think I was pretty grumpy in my last video talking about it. I've talked about the balance changes I think New Game Plus need. But I do understand. I do realise why it takes so long. But effectively, if they're going to be changing substantially some stuff with either New Game Plus or the way that Grounded is at the moment, then that does take time to implement what they want to do. Make sure it's all gone through, send it off to the port teams and then put it out to everyone. And since they don't have the PTBs anymore, like I said, they can't just get some instant feedback. So they may even have like more focus groups. They might even just have more quality Q&A testing they have to go through. So it is an involved process. 
And that's all because of the way that you can crossplay. If they don't do that, then no one will be able to crossplay with each other. And it would kind of suck because that's one of the best things about Grounded at the moment is you can play with your friends across any platform. But yeah, the last update was kind of just fixes for stuff, which was great, but there was no substantial changes. So that was only June the 18th. And before that, it was May the 9th. And before that, it was April the 29th. So a good sort of 10 days in between patches. And again, they were hot fixes. And that's why we expected the June update to be a little bit more substantial given that obviously the New Game Plus update fully yoked launched in April, nearly two months later, you would have expected maybe to be a bit more balanced. But maybe that was a bit unrealistic and unfair. They launched on two new platforms altogether with the Switch and the PlayStation. PlayStation 4 plus PlayStation 5. Technically, that's like three new platforms, really. So there was probably bound to be this more longer period before they could get a real balance change. And what are the balance changes? Like, why am I crying? Why do you see creators who are still playing Grounded or their last videos they maybe did complaining about the balance? The devs definitely have adjusted some of the effects that you get from New Game Plus bosses where they were just absolutely critical, hitting way too much, and it definitely was a bug. But a lot of people, including me, were surprised that not maybe enough was done to nerf some of the attacks. Explosive resistance for a start is pretty much still really tough. Whenever a boss has got this or a new game plus creature, it's hard to resist because you can barely see the little pools that will fire out from it. You don't even notice them half the time and there's still no way to really block it unless you've got the shield or unless you've managed to pick up a trinket that's got explosive resist on. The only other option, of course, is a sleek gas mask, but it's still not amazing. The magic attacks that a lot of the bosses still do are really hard and tough to dodge or do anything about as well, including obviously the spicy and the sour orbs as well. And the shock damage that they can do, that is another one you can't really avoid on certain boss fights like the Mantis. The whole ethos of Grounded's New Game Plus is that we find these Milk Molars, and the Milk Molars are meant to give you enough health, enough stamina to basically cope with whatever gets thrown at you. But as you keep playing each new game plus, you'll start to realise it just still feels massively unbalanced. You can't take a single hit, even with the extra health increases, otherwise you are going to be pretty much dead. And that isn't what new game plus is. New game plus, of course, is about going through the game again with all of your old gear, maybe all of your old stats, basically replaying the game after completing it the first time, and you'll have more increased difficulty, altered combat encounters and more. What New Game Plus isn't meant to be is, let's make grounded Dark Souls. If you play other games or you read a lot of gaming sites and stuff, you might have seen Elden Ring getting a lot of flack lately because it's new DLC, everyone's complaining it's too hard. Well, mother truckers, you ain't played grounded New Game Plus on New Game Plus 4. No, I adjust. It maybe isn't that bad, but it's kind of close to it. That's how it feels. And for a game like Grounded, Grounded's never meant to have been that difficult a game. It's never meant to have been Dark Souls. It does have a lot of advanced combat and a lot of maybe blocking and perfect parrying. And effectively, if you don't learn how to perfect parry, you're always going to have a much harder time. The devs have added new ways to play and combat it and choose new styles. But ultimately, perfect blocking and parrying is still kind of the meta under current game. But that said, it obviously was always appealing to a more younger audience, more casuals, and although you can customise and make the game as easy as you want or as hard as you want, you still got to think about that default difficulty. What does that default difficulty mean to people? That's what you really want people to be playing, because that's meant to be the vision of developers. And I can't believe the devs still think that the default game mode is to go through New Game Pluses and just have it get just uncomfortably boring because it's so hard. And it is that mixture, having to redo big parts of the game, even if you think you can only just rush through and do the boss fights, you still need to make sure you've got plenty of healing and smoothies. Unless you've been no life in the game, that still takes up a lot of time. Finding all them milk motors to get yourself even a chance of staying alive against new plus creatures, and the grind for the resources to improve your weapons is simply too much in the early stages of New Game Plus. And there's just simply not enough cool rewards in the early stages. Not until you get to New Game Plus 4 when you start to get infused weapons, as they've got obviously the brand new effects in them. In their mind, I think the devs wanted it to be for good players that want to take on boss fights a lot. And that's the point in New Game Plus. That you get to that stage where you're just really enjoying it. By the time you get to New Game Plus 3, 4, you're just taking on bosses over and over again so you can get some cool weapons. 
And it's the same criticism that's been labelled by pretty much everyone. But by then it's too late. No one wants to get cool weapons after you've played the game for the fifth time. You still have to go through each new game plus, like I said, getting these milk molars, grinding for raw science to get enough of stuff that you can either dupe or killing enough infused bugs to go ahead and get the upgrades to make your weapons better. There is a turning point. I'm pretty confident after seeing it when I was testing it in the first stages when it came out. That new game plus three, maybe two, that's when you start to get a lot more resources from creatures, bosses. And so it becomes easy to upgrade a lot of your weapons and maybe experiment then. But until then, you're forced to use effectively, if you want to play it properly and do it right, pretty much the side battle axe. Like sure, you can upgrade any other weapon you want or whatever is your preferred style, but the Sour Battle Axe has been the goated weapon for a long time now and it still is in New Game Plus 1 and 2. New Game Pluses in this instance for Grounded should be about having more fun experimenting with lots of different ways to play rather than being forced to just grind out for certain resources or find certain milk molars to then progress. And it still isn't enough, that's why we need the armour to be upgradable. There should be a speed element that you can race through new game pluses to get to the next one. But if you do that, you will end up suffering later because you won't be able to take on a lot of the new game plus two, three, four creatures because you won't have enough milk molars. There's more nuance to it than that, but I'm trying to keep the video a little bit shorter. So that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. And like I said, I'm still a bit sick at the moment, so I can't be asked going through every single point religiously. But if I had to boil it down in two minutes, that's what I think. Now, my opinion does not trump anyone's. Just because I've got 1,200 hours in the game, I've made thousands of videos, I've seen lots of comments, I'm still probably only seeing a fraction of what the data the devs actually get. But I do pay attention to the Steam reviews. I do pay attention to the comments in the forums and discords as much as I can. And I do get an overall sense that a lot of people agree with some of the points I've made. And I'm sure I've got some wrong, and I'm sure there's some I've left out. That's why I want you guys to fill in exactly what you think about balance, and especially New Game Plus, to hopefully get it changed. I know sometimes the devs watch these videos. Shout out to Chris. Hi. And maybe even Eric. So put in the comments right now what you think balance-wise Grounded needs. And no, balance doesn't mean I want a new insect added. I want snakes and cockroaches. I want to go inside the house. I'm talking explicitly, not new content, just ways they could improve the experience now. Also, PlayStation and Switch players, or if you're just new to Grounded in general, even if you're nowhere near at New Game Plus, what do you think needs to change? We've had all this influx of new players. How do you feel Grounded is? Is it too easy, too hard? What would you like to see changed or added or varied in just regular gameplay? The focus is always going to be a new game plus from a lot of creators because we've done everything else. But I'm not forgetting out that there's a lot of new players to the game. What do you want to see? That's another thing the devs may be taking more time over. They probably had to go through a lot of the PlayStation feedback and the Switch feedback, which was quite substantial because it was really popular on PlayStation. I want to carry on playing Grounded. I want to get to 100 days of new game plus, whether that's new game plus four, five, six, if I'm lucky. At the moment, I'm on like 235 days and I'm just about to finish off New Game Plus 1. But I want it to be fun and at the moment it is starting to become just a chore because it's just not fair. It's just not balanced. So come on devs, you guys know I love you. Give us a heads up, tell us what to expect, start showing us some of the things that you might be changing. I know you're busy doing other bits and bobs. But it would be really cool to see some previews ahead about what's coming in the 1.4.4 update, unless it's about to hit next week. And that's it. I am going to go and get a big fat coffee, maybe brush my hair, and I'll see you rat bags later.